everyone! My name is Daniela and I am a Youth Services Librarian with Baum Public Libraries. Today I'm at the Woodbridge Library branch and I'm making a climbing spider. I found this activity in the book Zoom It! Invent New Machines That Move by Tammy Enns. Let's get started! To make your climbing spider, gather together scissors, an empty cereal box, a black marker, a ruler, clear tape, two one inch long pieces of a drinking straw, an adhesive hook, and string. Begin by using scissors to cut the back off of a cereal box. Next, draw a spider on the blank side of the cardboard with a black marker. Make the spider about three inches wide by four inches long. Cut out the spider. Leave the front legs connected to each other. Then flip your spider over. Tape the straw pieces to the spider's front legs at about a 45 degree angle. Stick an adhesive hook high up on the wall. Then take your string and run a length of string from the bottom of the floor up and over your adhesive hook and back down to the floor. Then make sure that both sides of your string are the same length and cut the string. Thread the ends of the string through the straws on the spider's legs. Now your spider is ready to climb. Pull one string at a time and watch your spider climb. Did your spider climb the string? Can you improve your invention to make the spider climb even faster? Can you invent a way to make an action figure climb the string? So how does it work? What helps things climb? Friction. Friction is the gripping force that prevents objects from slipping. Friction helps your sneakers grip the floor. Friction also helps people climb mountains. The rougher and tighter two surfaces are when they rub together, the more friction they create. I hope you enjoy today's activity. We'd love to see your spiders in action. Please use the hashtag VPL at home for a chance to be featured on our social media channels. Also, stay tuned for more educational activities for kids on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and bye for now.